So the green energy transition requires a lot of the key battery metals uh, needed to make this happen. So for example, an electric car easily uses five times the amount of copper of a, of a petrol car. So when these demand trends start going, the intensity of these key metals uh, in the economy uh, starts increasing. You're really just shifting the burden uh, from the fossil industry uh, to the mining industry in terms of environmental damage. This is not sustainable and we need to change the way we are looking for additional resources to our society. Our mission is to bring the resources needed for the green shift to the market and to do so in a sustainable and, uh, and responsible manner. So for example, the fossil industry emits around 37 billion tons of CO2 um, per year, while the mining industry emits around 350 billion tons of waste. Having discussed the detrimental effects uh, of uh, the onshore mining industry, it became clear to me that we in Norway have a responsibility to bring our resources to the market. The deposits that green minerals will, uh, will mine offshore have very rich ore grades, so up to 10 times and, or more higher than we find in traditional uh, pit, open pit-based mining uh, onshore. That means that we will be able to, to reduce the amount of waste and tailings significantly. We will be able to uh, reduce CO2 emissions uh, significantly or close to zero as we aim to use renewable energy in our production. And deforestation is not an issue in offshore mining. In Norway, we have uh, sizable and very rich reserves. And we also have a regulatory framework, uh, which is very stable and it has proved its worth for all stakeholders during the more than 50 years that it has been functioning for the oil and gas industry in Norway. So we have an opportunity here to actually make a difference in the world by opening up uh, for this industry on the Norwegian continental shelf. Deepwater technologies is a term that has been framed in the oil and gas environment. So it means all the technology that are necessary to extract petroleum products from the seafloor at depths over 1,000, 1,500 meters. Now, what it means for us is that we need to define, qualify, innovate, find the technologies that will enable us to mine marine minerals at water depth exceeding 2,500 meters. But most of them have been designed to handle with fluids, and now we are dealing with solids. So you can understand that the, there is a good portion that we need to innovate in order to make it feasible, first of all. Production is going to happen on the seabed. Then a portion of it is going to happen at the surface and then a portion is going to happen on land. We need to put all these technologies together in an harmonious way, so they are going to collaborate and not being bottlenecks for one another. And this is the biggest challenge, is to take several systems into an harmonious complex system that works in a robust manner, in a predictable manner, because we cannot provide green minerals if the way we are extracting them is not green. The Union have established 17 uh, sustainable development goals. And many of the things that we have been discussing here today uh, and the things that green minerals will do will be addressing many of those, uh, those goals. Clean and affordable energy, for example, life on land, uh, climate action are examples of those. And we in Green Minerals will do our utmost to produce minerals from the offshore areas in the most sustainable way possible. The main challenge now uh, is really to build the primary stock of metals up to such a level uh, that the economy is satisfied. The question is really, uh, where should these metals come from? 
so today we are only looking for them onshore, which is 30% of the planet. 70% of our planet is covered by the large oceans. And also you find some of the largest deserts on the planet underneath these oceans. So it makes a lot of sense for society to start looking for these resources offshore. And we have found some resources on the Norwegian continental shelf that are very rich in nature and that we think that we can take up in a very environmental friendly and sustainable manner.